Recently, BeamMG released a Beam JBeam editor for Blender that you can import and export JBeams and edit them. And it makes it a lot easier to work with than the old JBeam editor. Um, so, what you'll do is go to this link and you'll download the Blender JBeam editor. And then once you load Blender, and I'd recommend you get the latest Blender, which is 3... Well, it's not the version I got. It is... Hold on, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you which one I got. 3.62. The latest is 3.64. Um, anyway. Now, if you got the old Blender exporter installed already, and the preferences, just undo it. You don't want it now. You don't want to use it because it conflicts, apparently. I don't even see it in there, but you'll know it if you got it installed. You'll see it in there. It's that import, export, JBeam, IO, mesh, whatever. I don't even see it now, but anyway. Alright, install the, the new one. Install, go to the downloads folder, and click on that zip file that you download. Install add-on. And then once you do that, you'll see, yeah, that's the old one right there. You'll see development, Blender JBeam Editor. Just put a checkbox there. And that's all you got to do. Now, this don't do all the work for you. Just like the other JBeam editor, it only exports the nodes, beams, and triangles. But if you do what I do and you use an existing JBeam, it makes it a lot easier just to recycle old ones, even in here. Now, the question I got was about resizing bollards. Now, the bollards that I just recently posted, the two bollards that move uh, together, um, we'll use that for an example. So we're going to import JBeam and JBeam exported uh, bollard2. Alright, there it is, bollard2.jbeam. Uh, select a part, import all parts. Well, there's only one part, so import it in. So this is the J-beam for the bollards. Now, we'll import in the model. The DAE. The part that you see. So this is the part that you see. And there's actually two meshes. Um, so as you can see, like this is the little, let me hide the thing, thing, main thing here. So this is the part that the shaft, you know, the part that goes up and down. So we got the DAE, which is just a physical model that you see, and we got its J beam. Um, now. Looking up very close, you see it's a little complicated because it's using slide rails. A slide rail is uh, so they can slide up and down on a on a go a particular direction without coming out, kind of like a, a sleeve. So that's what that basically is. So if you're going to want to scale this, I would say hide the shaft first. And then if you want to make the whole, I would tell you what to do. I mean, it would be my honest opinion. Instead of trying to tweak it and all that stuff, just select everything, all of it. Scale it all at the same time. Right? Now, Select the pole. Well, actually, select everything. Apply all transforms. 
select the pole in the main here those are the DAEs export DAE overwrite the DAE that's in there with this one but say selection only because we're not sending the J beam out there as a as an object so off they go now we will go to file save I'm sorry export J beam I got it selected right the J beam it's going to tell us to save the blender file first so there we save it now what it, what we name it here um, whatever you want to name it I don't matter because we're just overriding the J beam that's already here with this one the one that we just edited scaled it export J beam and we're going to overwrite that one just like that. Now, if I load the game, well, the game's already loaded. It's locked up from an earlier video. Yeah, that one ain't getting posted either. Uh, if I load this baller now, it should be bigger. And it's probably it'll be the easiest way to explain how to do this. Now, can you do this with an entire car? Hell no, I doubt it. Uh, but this is a simple J-beam. Um, should work fine yeah that's definitely a lot bigger than the other one That's going to be expected because you're making something bigger. The damn thing uses real physics, so if something's bigger, you know, you got other things to consider like the damping and all that other stuff, you know. But I'm not getting into all that. You just wanted to know how to make the damn thing bigger. So that's the easiest way. Now, all that other stuff you can figure out um, later. But this, this is just going to focus on just that. 